G'day fellas and welcome to the perfect FFA game. Today I'm going to demonstrate exactly how to go about playing your free-for-all games and coming up with the perfect strategy. I'm going to opt with the Chinese here just because the Chinese typically are the most versatile civilization. They are a powerful civ uh, in the early game, an extra powerful civilization in the late game. I've just found out myself a little berry bush up here, don't mind if I do. Uh, we want to try and look for food, prioritizing food, prioritizing gold in the early game. So when we spot berry bushes like this, definitely want to make our way up towards this side. Now it is land mega random, which means that there's going to be an absence of water here on this map. I think we might just look to put down our town center here. It's not the best spot because it doesn't have every single resource. And ideally we want every single resource. Uh, but uh, you know what? You can't win them all. So we'll take it. It's also a pretty defensive position here. We've got the cliff side to our bottom. We've got a wood line to our top. And we do have a little bit of stone out here as well, which will be nice. Now, I'm going to go and do a little bit of scouting with my king behind us in particular. That's going to be the most important part to scout. Now, let's talk a little bit about our strategy, about our plan. Now, number one, even though we have the option to just take people out, we need to be really careful of doing that. As the Chinese, you have access to the palace guards in the castle age, and you can just take players out two, three, four very easily just by running your palace guards in, killing their king. Nice and simple. The problem is you make yourself a target for everybody else in the lobby. And if you end up getting two or three kills, people are going to call you out. So I think the, the safest thing that you can do is look to try and secure one kill early. That's going to free up 50 population for you. And you can leverage that either through your economy or through your military and enforce a really strong mid to late game. So that's what we're going to be doing here. The other thing to note is that with the Chinese, you also have access to the Barbican. That's part of the reason why I think the Chinese are the most flexible civilization when it comes to playing early, or, or not playing early, but just playing FFA in general. So if I was to compare them to the, the, the Juicy Legacy as an example in the late game, I would say the Juicy Legacy is slightly better uh, than the Chinese. But uh, when it comes to the early game, the Chinese are significantly better. All right, so we're going to start off by throwing down our mill. We're going to get a single scout out here and we're going to get an Imperial official to follow. We're going to start off on berries, but we're going to bring over our sheep as well. We've got a, a stone and a gold that's relatively close by. The most important thing for me is just going to be knowing about whether there are other people in this game that we need to be worried about up to my north. That's going to be the most important thing. But what I'm going to do before that is I'm going to send this scout out to the middle and I'm going to try and find some sheep. Because on Mega Random, sometimes, you never know with Mega Random, it's a little, it's a little bit random, uh, you can get a crazy amount of sheep in the middle of the map. So that's what I'm going to be opting for. We've got ourselves six deer up here. We'll also be looking to take that. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll make our way over towards the middle. So let's make sure that we've got villagers in queue here. We've got our scout that's hot keyed. We've got a second set of deer over here and we've got ourselves some sheep. So I'm just going to go... Oh, I'm going to... I wasn't going to grab those sheep, but I tell you what, I'm going to go grab them right now. Three sheep all stacked together like this. That is a jackpot, my friend. Let's go head out and continue making our way. So we've got five vills on food at the moment. Uh, we're going to continue. Oh, look at this. This is exactly why we come towards the middle. We spot a Japanese player. Uh, we could go back and just grab that sheep. I I think it's probably better to move forward here rather than to go backwards. Um, so we've got up to seven bills on food. I think it's probably a reasonable amount because we are in berries. So we're going to have a little bit more tax than usual. And then from there, and be careful not to dive into the town center. Uh, and then from there, look at this. We've got a nice little berry spot. He's got a decent spot in here. We might have to wall him out just so he can't access our relic. Um, lots of food in here as well. This is quite nice for the Japanese players. There's actually two of them in the lobby at the moment. Now, I don't know what the skill of these players are. I will say that much. So they could be very good players. They they might not be very good players. So I, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Oh, look at that sacred site. That is a very funky sacred site. Hello. Um, so we're going to start throwing these down. Hopefully there's nobody up here. If there is, we're going to be in a little bit of a problem. I mean, we'll just come down to this one. Not a huge problem. Um, but uh, we're, we're going to keep looking for sheep in the middle. And let's take a look up here. Nobody's on it just yet. So that's a good sign. So we might have found ourselves a little bit of isolation. Now, when it comes to the Barbican, the Barbican's really important to place on people that are very close to you. This player is not very close to me. But if he's my only neighbor, which he may be, then maybe it's a, not a bad idea to go and throw that Barbican in right on this position because that's going to slow him down incredibly. If I put that Barbican there, that's going to stop any kind of difficulties I've got with him. And it will also mean that I can just sweep in on him and go and grab a kill. I don't know why they don't show up as idle like that. They should. Uh, we do see oranges out over here as well. So he's going to grab all the sheep from over this side. So I think this is probably a good time to just head back over towards our little base. Let's hand in our tax. Uh, but we could definitely look to Barbican him and he might just give up straight away. I don't, as I said, I don't know how good he is and depending on his skill level will depend on how he reacts to that. That's too many bills on gold. Three is more than enough. 
Um, but we've got a lot of natural resources on this top side. The most important thing is just making sure that there's nobody else around here. So we're going to start off with the Imperial Academy. It's a really good landmark um, just to start off with. It's, it's a very flexible landmark. It gives you bonuses in the early game uh, and especially in the mid game. But we found Green up here and he's got... It looks like he's gone for a bit of a run. So that's going to be the Holy Roman Empire. Normally you expect them towards the middle. Doesn't look like that's happened today. So we'll keep an eye out on that one. See if we can get a little bit more tax here. Wonderful. And we're just going to drop down our Imperial Academy. I think we could probably just like throw it down right there. Sounds like we picked up a little bit more sheep as well, which is always nice. So three bills on the Imperial Academy. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, and it looks like we are finding ourselves with plenty of space. So the most important thing is we want to just confirm there's nobody else that's closer than Teal. And then we'll just go throw a Barbican on him. Um, and keep in mind, he might have his own battles. You know, like there, there could be a town center right here that we just didn't scout. And that just sucks because it means that, you know, he, he's pretty much just going to be out of the game. Um, but, you know, it does happen. Now, we've got 16 sheep. Make that 17. And this this sheep right here is going to confirm for me that there's nobody else to my north. Or at least there shouldn't be anybody else to my north. Because they would have picked up that sheep with their scout. Or at least you would think that would be the case. So, that's what I'm going to hope for here. It looks like we've got a very good spawn. Very isolated. And it means that this Barbican can indeed come down over here. We could probably... Yeah, I think we probably just want to put it like right here on the gold... Uh, and then that way it's going to hit, it's just going to hit everything. This, he just put the landmark down right there. We did see it. Uh, and let's quickly, before we forget, where's our stragglers? We don't really have any. I'm just going to take from this tree right here. Let's grab that sheep. We've got lots of food around us. You can see we've got four packs of deer to be taken. So our farm transition is going to be definitely a bit delayed. Uh, we're going to be looking to put all of our farms up here towards the top. We're going to be thinking about putting our king in there. But we'll talk about the different stages of, on, on the way that we do this because there's very intentional stages that we go through so we're going to start off with Song Dynasty here I'll send all these sheep in so and now we're going to be able to grab this one now this house I want to put it over here just so it's outside the radius we can look to get ourselves some more sheep so age up should be coming through soon from the Japanese player we can pull these gold bills in we don't actually need them here anymore uh, even though we, we are just shy by a little bit it's alright we've got the Imperial Official and now we can look to get our Lumber Champion. Uh, so let's throw down... Wait, did we really? Oh, I don't know what happened there. That was a bit weird. Um, so let's get on the sheep here. And that one is perfect. So we want to go across like this. Let's bring that back. Alright, who's that aging up? So our Japanese player is still is yet to age up at this stage. So we can go and rush him with a Barbican, or we can just leave him. And I'm kind of open to just leaving leaving him right now. Maybe throw the Barbican down here on these relics. Buy us a little bit of time. So I'm going to take four Vils. Is he walling? He's building a house, I think. He's building a farmhouse. Now, I, I, can, I can just throw this Barbican down right up here. I think this is probably the spot to do it. All right, so now we're going to begin moving Vils over onto stone because we want to make a second town center. So I'm going to start by doing that. Very, very strange that he's just thrown a house down. I don't know what his plan is. We might even just move those Vils over. Um, and we're going to start supervising all the relevant structures. So I'm very, very confused. That's all. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work out exactly what's happening there. Let's get that gold in as well. We can we can pick up wheelbarrow here in the meantime. So one of the things that you can do as the Chinese is you can go into a three town center boom. I don't recommend it because it's more of an advanced technique. Uh, but it, it, it will slow you down slightly on your castle age. But your timings for when you get your first kill will be about the same. Um, so that's what we're going to be looking to take advantage of here. So we will be going for a three town center play. Um, and now that the Barbican is up, is he pushing all of the deer over here? So we could just go... I mean, he's walled us in, but at the same time... Okay, so he's just gonna... He's just gonna get on back out of there. I'm just going to go throw a wall down right here, just so we don't have an enemy behind our lines. I mean, he could technically just go down here, but we, we would spot him if he did go for that. Voice chat is unmuted. Cool. So we're gonna need to throw down a house as well. So we've got the resources now for our town center. So I'm just gonna throw it down right here. Decent little spot that we've got. And we can just supervise here. Let's gather up the rest of our taxes. Lovely. Alright, so we're supervising this one now. Just because 
we want to make sure that uh, we want to make sure that we've got lots of food. Right, so it's going to take a while for our Barbican to actually burn this down, and I don't want to listen to it, so I'm just going to bring my scout over here. Even though I probably should be out on the map scouting, like, we've already got all the information that we really need, so I'm, I'm not too fussed about it. Uh, we could throw another Lumber Camp in here. Probably should throw another Lumber Camp in here, and there we go. We've got this bad boy. Let's make sure that we are doing the right thing here. So he's still got that one Ville here. We're just going to leave him for now. So we're struggling a little bit here with food, but that is A-OK. -okay. It will start to pick up very, very quickly. So we're moving into that third town center. This is this was an interesting decision from him, but I guess he didn't really have any other food sources around here. Like, he could go for this one out here, which he probably will. Uh, and I think we might wall in these relics just to make sure they don't get sniped. I, I know that green is around us. In fact, let's go and do that right now. Just because he is playing Holy Roman Empire, not Order of the Dragon. And we want to make sure that these relics are ours. Uh, I'm going to go wall this one in as well. We should be ready for our next... There we go. Wonderful. So we'll put this down right next to each other. So we're going to go into three town centers now. And now we want to think about food. So where are we going to get our food from? So we'll start by going over here. We're going to start... We'll take an Imperial official out here as well. Uh, and we're also going to look to get our upgrades because we're going to be moving into deer. Now I can do the same thing right here. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that I've got a steady food income. That's yellow. Blue, China, booming, alone. Top corner, 3TC. Like, okay, what are you going to do about it, bro? Like, sure. Go for it, man. Call, call it out all you like. Castle Age now coming through for Symphony. That is our green player. Green Castle Age with HRE somewhere on map. You get the point? Like... It's not really actionable information, is it? Green is right corner. There you go. Get him. Get him, boys. Did we really wall ourselves in? Get him, boys. Barbican will take that one out. Cool. All right, so we've secured these two relics. Imperial officials out here. And we want to make sure that we are balancing out all these. We're going to also look to get each of our upgrades here. Uh, we are going to need a little bit of housing space. I'm going to go supervise our gold at the back here. Even though we've got lots of gold, I'm not too fussed. Let's get a couple of bills over here. And let's get our next house down. So our timing here is pretty decent for Castle H. So just once again, we're just going to be looking for one early kill. That's it. We just want to make sure that people... Or that we've got that safety net. Uh, and then after we get that kill, we will then wall up stone walls. We will secure the king in the corner. We'll begin our farm transition. And then we will look to go Imperial. That's the plan. Let's go scout out over towards this east side. Our age up is about to start coming through here. We've got a lot of hills we can now take. So I'm going to age up with the astronomical clock tower. So I'm going to put it right here, and we can throw down on food. Uh, we're going to look to get a couple more vills out over onto wood. Let's do that. And we can throw an Imperial Official on here. But there we go. That is why we walled that up, because we knew what was going to be coming. Now, he might look to get angry at me. Now, one of the things I could do here, which I think I will do here, is I'm going to come here, build a gate, come on the inside, and then wall that up. Uh, let's get supervision over here. Definitely need more on wood. Need a lot more on wood. So decent little age up time here for me. Not terrible. So we just want to get inside just so that we can secure this. We, it's not so much securing it as just denying it from him, right? Like we don't want him to have it. That's really it. So now we're going to throw down. And let's get our eco upgrades. Oh, I just realized we didn't get our tier ones. Fucking annoying, dude. So fucking annoying, dude. 
got one health. Run. It's gonna die. All right, I think we've defended this well. So now we're going to throw down our axes. A little bit late on throwing these down. We're making sure that we always throw them down in a certain way. Seven Raxes should be enough for the moment. Supervise over here. Get another village down. Another two villages down. So it looks like he's given up on these relics. Which is wonderful. Let's come here. Red is down here as well. A lot of players over on this side by the looks of it. Grabbing all of our eco ups. Scout, be careful. Be careful, we need to keep you alive. A lot of idle time right here. Look at this, like a huge amount of bills going idle. So we're going to start adding in that farm transition. Going to put a few more vills now. So we want to go for Teal. Looks like he's got some walls coming up. Let's check where King locations are. There we go. Oh, look at this. Red's actually on green right now. So in this situation, we're just going to leave him. But we're going to keep an eye out on that. Because Red is kind of close to me. I, in fact, I might even just go and attack red. Is that him? No, that's purple. I feel like I might be poking the bear here, so this is something you've got to be very careful about doing. But by attacking him at a location, there's a chance that he might come back. I'm going to get a couple of nest of bees as well, just in case. Alright, so we've started working on stone. I'm going to rally out here. Just because I want to get more stone. Doesn't look like there's any vills here. So we just want to let him know that we've got presence out here. Japanese are out here. Okay, alright. Let's go for the Japanese then. I hate when that happens. There he goes. So Symphony just got taken out. He did get Imperial. Uh, we need to start thinking about stone walls now. Let's go through. We'll look to hit him. Get these vills inside. We don't we don't really want to lose too many of these vills. I did rally units over here. It's gonna take some time to get them here. Let's do a quick king check. He's in here, ten thousand health. Oh, 
Alright, not bad. Looks like he's going to be returning back to his base. A lot of idols right now. Why am I always so blind to the king? So we just want one kill. That's it. Now we just play super duper defensive. So from here, it's all just defensive. One kill's enough. We want to get our king safely up here. Farm transition is beginning. Let's get... Just a few. And we also want to throw down a couple of houses here. Not in love with that position. Grill official, do your thing. Let's get some vills up here. So we want to think about Imperial Age. We also want to think about stonewalling in. So the Ottoman player is a big threat here, and so is the Japanese player. So we've got more stone walls coming up. I think this is all completely blocked in. Actually, that's not blocked in right there. What's going on over here? All right, we've got rally points that are still going out. So I'm also going to be looking to put down more production. Like this. we got a lot of food right here. So let's rally over towards it. So at the moment, we're sitting on 133 vils, which is absolutely fine. We can just kind of chill on that. Uh, we can look to get some gates up here as well. Probably not a terrible idea. Let's get ourselves a gate. And we might even begin outpost crawling. So we can now go Imperial Age. So one of the things I'm going to look to do is wall in my farms. So to do that, I'm going to actually have to delete this right here. Just because I have Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. I'll throw this down like that. And we're going to put a row of farms like this. And now down to here and across. I don't know. You get the idea. Like that. And from here, we can do this. We want the perfect base. So I'm now going to put my Great Wall Gatehouse maybe right here. Let's finish this stone wall off completely. And we can go join these guys at the back. Alright, we might even want to supervise this up as well. Let's get rid of our things that we don't need. So we don't need these mining camps. We don't need these lumber camps. This house here, we don't need it. So we want to get more down on the edges like this. And we want to get more production in. Just because the thing I'm most scared of at the moment, it's definitely going to be that Ottoman player. But we just want to chill for the moment. We don't want to... We don't want to do too much crazy stuff. There's still quite a few players in this game. Let's have a look and see. So we've still got four players in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and build this keep. In the top part of the map. We're going to bring our king up here. Let's keep this production going. Doesn't look like we did that. And let's get all of our upgrades that are relevant. Sounds like some resources have just gone. Um, instead of actually taking these resources, let's go take resources in the middle of the map. So all of our vills on gold. 
There you are. Let's go, let's go take these ones. Oh, and I've just realized we can now pick up tithe barns. And we've got the and we've got the resources to do it. Uh, but we also want to grab. Oh, we don't actually. What do we well, we must have lost our monk. There is a relic over here. Oh, it's it's a Yarashira. That's what it is. I got actually, I take it back. There is a relic over here. Alright, so let's get our king in. Got the gates coming up. Alright, so we've got a couple of relics in here. We're going to take them. Our monk is coming over here. At least... Do we train him already? Or did we cancel him? We must have cancelled him. Oh, we didn't get our eco upgrades. Let's max out our eco upgrades right here as well. Oh, we're trying to. We're trying to here, Drongo. And I'm going to start the outposts. We want to always keep these outposts up, just so that we've got information about where everybody's at. Just like this. Now we can go and take that relic. Oh, you right, buddy? There we go. So he's going to come out. He's going to grab this relic. We're going to throw Tithe Barns on. All right, looks like these guys... Sorry, I know that one was researching. It's painful for me as well, but... Yep. Let's go grab it over here. So we also need to make a landmark up here. So we've got Yellow, who has just destroyed uh, Pink's landmark. So Yellow's just de destroyed Pink's landmark. Yellow has just killed Pink. So we've got a decent amount that's going on up here. We can delete this. Let's get this wall out a little bit earlier. He says, come on, 2v1. Oh, yeah, you hate to say it. And let's get out. So we've got all of our tier 3 upgrades. I think we've also got our mining upgrade through as well. No, we don't. Let's get that now. And so at this stage, we're, we're pretty damn good. I'm going to get down a little bit more production here. So this is going to be for our hand cannons. But we've, we've played a very good passive, quiet game here. We're maxed out. We're at 180 vills, which is quite a lot of villagers. And you can see we've got the outposts that have come up now for our opponent here as well. So what we might look to do is just throw up some stone walls behind this. And just to give us an extra layer of defense. And now we can think about moving into our dynasties. So let's make sure we eat all that. We can delete the things that we don't need anymore. So we still need these mining camps. We want to get all of our upgrades. We want to get our university upgrade as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we can put our spirit way in the corner. So our spirit way is going to be our back landmark, our nice and safe one. So we're gathering here from gold. I don't like this. This should be out here that we're gathering from the gold. This wood I don't mind gathering from. So now that we're... We're just kind of chilling, right? So how many people have we got in the game? I think we've got four people left in the game. Um, so I think we've definitely got the best spot in that we're quite isolated here. So let's make ourselves a few layers of walls here. Just because we can. And this guy's going to come here. Oh, you're already here. Never mind. And we just want to get some sort of vision like that. Let's also pick up our textile upgrade. And now once again, moving into the middle. I could even afford to throw a keep down over here just because there's a sacred site nearby, isn't there? So I feel like that's probably okay. Let's siege that down and then do this. Okay, so th this is pretty much it, right? Like we're, we're playing the perfect game. Now we can think about eliminating people. Um, so what does the perfect army look like? Well, that is a great question. We're going to need some siege in it. That's for sure. So let's think about that. And we're also going to need a few more archery ranges. But most importantly, we're just going to need more raxes. So we're going to look to get lots of them down. Uh, let's make sure we pick up our upgrade. So we want greased axles. We want reload drills. And we want additional barrels. Now we can, of course, get that over here as well. So let's go ahead and grab all those upgrades. So we picked up these gold upgrades. We've got all of our... I don't like the sound of that. What are you screaming about, villager? He's on this gold here. That's 7k gold. So there's a part of me that really wants to go fight him. So let's go and just put 
something like this. Something like that. And we will just put a gate in behind. So we've got a whole bunch of spears. So our army at the moment is really quite lackluster, right? Like there's nothing too exciting about it. But one of the things that we are going to need in this game is going to be roller shutter trigger sprinkles because of the Ottoman player. So I want to look to try and take him out sooner rather than later. And that's, we've got another one. That is yellow. We need to kill yellow. He has three kills now. So who did he just take out? Um, do we go into more siege? That was my first kill. Lie. No. Wrong. He has three kills. Red. We need to kill him. Red, do not- don't attack me, Red. Do not attack me. Do not attack me, Red. You will seal your fate. What the fuck, dude? The fuck you talking about? Dude! Okay. Is- is it- is it really gonna happen like this? ourselves a market. Let's make sure our Imperial officials are all doing stuff. Wonderful, they are. Um, we want to get siege works. Red making the biggest mistake of his life right now. You got two, I got one. I'm on one kill, what the fuck? Bro's actually gaslighting right now. Hard. Did we not get those Springles out? Fuck. That's alright. It's alright. We'll get them for the next round, right guys? Right guys? Is he just trying to clear? What's he trying to do? We don't want to fight him in, in the choke point at all. So that's what we're going to do. Those mangonels are just going to get insane value. We're getting through it, but he's getting through me as well. That's the other thing to note. That's the bombard. I might just go for the bombard. so dumb we need to uh, look yellow's killing stupid motherfucker stupid motherfucker stupid red dude I fucking told you red I didn't see these bills We need bombards. How many vills am I on? 143. No, neither of the bombards got fucking out, dude. Fucking idiot, dude. Absolute fucking idiot. What a dumb motherfucker, dude. <laughs> I fucking said it was gonna happen, man. So how do I go about winning this? I think the answer is siege. I need to have a lot of siege here. So I'm going to delete some palace guards. And I'm going to go into a whole bunch of... Not springles. 
What a dumb fuck. What a dumb fucker. So fucking stupid, dude. So we can't fight this guy head on, right? Like, we have to go for a Fire Lance Strike. The problem is he's Japanese. And he's got 17,000 health on his landmark. And he's got stone walls coming up. So we can think about, like, going for a Wonder Victory. Probably not on the cards. Um, Nest of B-Spam could be decent. Uh, we could probably pull our Relics out and look to defend with Walla Lol. Maybe that's a play. How many Vils are we on? 122. So we need more stone walls. Let's start with that. And then this. So we definitely want more nest bees. Dude, that's four kills. Like, un unironically, he had a fourth kill that he hadn't taken yet. Unless that was... Red that he just killed then. Okay, so how do we fight this? So we don't want to fight in like stacked up, or we want to fight with like stacked up environments, right? Like that's the way I'm thinking. So let's get rid of more palace guards. Let's go into stables. Stables are going to give us, oh God, we got no vils on. No vils on wood. He's actually in the castle isn't terrible. In the castle is actually much easier for us. Oh, we got no fucking wood, do we? Jeez, that's a bit of a walk, fellas. Maybe let's help you out. We'll throw that down for next time. Wasn't paying attention. Don't reveal yourselves. And what are they going to do? Bombards? This is annoying having these behind us. Cannot build- oh, that stupid fucking flag's right there. I think this is definitely the play going into mass nest to be like this. Look at the pathing on these mother these amazing units. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, man. He's got such a big army. There's one thing I've learned about this game. It's that Nesta bees are good. Dude, why have I got so many monks? Oh, 
I don't like how we're chopping through this though. Let's put the pressure on him, right? Let's make him come into us. This one's going to be a bit harder to, to secure though. Yeah, he's going for it. Oh, fuck, dude. Let's don't fuck around. these vills didn't i tell these vills didn't i tell you guys to come through here and build oh he built a fucking outpost there that stops my it's got sprinkles now my reinforcements are so far away So hard for him to get sprinkles in here. It's really hard to fight this with the with the population. Oh fuck. Without the pop with the population difference, it's really, really hard to fight this, but I think we're doing the right thing. How do you fire over that wall? Stop this. And he's got the. We've got the AOA. Get that going in there. Get you guys up here. Definitely very far away with our reinforcements. Like, we can feel he's right there. Need to bring more vills here.
Dude, we all of our shots missed on those. I don't really want to fight him in the open. It's gonna back out. I wouldn't be surprised if he thinks about going for another angle. If he does, do we just go straight for the fucking throat? We don't have bombards. Oh, so good, dude. Uh, do we have any more monks? I don't think we do. There he is. If he wants to, I'm, I'm fucking keen, dude. Let's go. Wanna know why? So I got a fucking escape plan. Or is it just a bait to get me out in the open? I reckon it could just be a bait to get me out in the open. He's got a fair bit of horsemen. He took the sacred site, not a big deal. Now we're just gonna re-wall it. one I can't gate apparently so I'm thinking we just do we just delete everything and just go for like a big push let's put down a lot of TC's before we do it I didn't even realize you guys were chilling back here it's gonna be hard but we're gonna have huge amounts of um Of everything, really. Like, that should be fine. Alright, let's go. Kind of need these ones. Fuck. 
fuckload of Rebaldequin. Did I not have Cav coming out? I thought I had Cavalry coming out. Oh, we're all getting stuck, we're all getting stuck. Go the fuck back. No, no, no. No! Are you serious? My game crashed? Oh, are you serious, dude? I felt like we actually had that, dude. Oh my god. I can't fucking believe that, dude. Ah, oh, you hate to see it. You really hate to fucking see it. Oh, I can't believe that, dude. Good game. Well played. Classic game crash. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll leave it there. That is so sad. That is so sad. We were playing the perfect game. It felt really good. It looked really good. It smelled really good. I'm going to be honest with you. But unfortunately, in the end, it just was not good enough. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.